tortured and tense, the Dark Knight Rises stands alone as the summer's, and perhaps the year's, most serious-minded action flick. Director Christopher Nolan star Christian Bale's epic of criminality and all-consuming consumption is a new high watermark for what superhero movies could and should be. The story picks up eight years after 2008's The Dark Knight. In that time, the perceived murder of District Attorney Harvey Dent by the Batman has resulted in scores of Gotham City gangsters landing behind bars. Batman hasn't been seen since, and Bruce Wayne is a bearded recluse hobbling on a cane due to injuries suffered fighting the villains. But when Bane, played by Tom Hardy, a muscle-bound mercenary whose mask supplies him with a pain-killing narcotic, shows up, Batman comes out of retirement. Bane's evil plan? To turn a Wayne Enterprises clean energy device into a nuclear reactor, and then blowing up all the bridges and tunnels to trap the citizens in the city. Meanwhile, there's also lovely Selina Kyle, played by a super coy Anne Hathaway, who could have wound up in prison after stealing from Bruce, except he kind of likes the kicky cat burglar spunk. As Bane and his goons draw Commissioner Gordon, a young earnest cop played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and a mysterious benefactress played by Marion Cotillard into danger, the cat joins the bat to stop the bomb from blowing up. For all the multiple personalities and storylines here, and frankly there's a few too many, the strongest moments are when Bane and Batman go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Hardy's heft and muffled voice are truly menacing, and as the two foes wallop each other, Rises comes alive in ways the earlier two Batman movies didn't. It also has more than enough heart, allowing for Bale's best acting in the series, and Batman's flying car is cooler than ever in IMAX. And that should be enough, but perhaps because Nolan's Batman films are closer to The Godfather than to other superhero flicks, its shortcomings echo louder and linger longer. Batman speaks more than once of his connection to a city. The Dark Knight Rises, like both the real and fictional Gotham, builds upon its strongest parts and makes us wish the weaker parts were better. I'm Joe Newmeyer, film critic for the New York Daily News.